Happy Sunday, y'all. So I'm going to be making Sunday dinner tonight and I'm going to be making fried chicken. This was a request from Cash and Kaya. So he's supposed to come over for Sunday dinner. I picked up these Purdue chicken thighs. I went to Aldi, by the way. This is all Aldi. Um, so I got some chicken thighs. So I'm going to fry these up. I had to get some coffee because I needed some. And this is my favorite from Aldi. This is Southern Pecan Praline. Literally, it tastes so good with vanilla, French vanilla creamer. So I got two of those. And it's cheap, y'all. I got, we're going to have, so we're going to have fried chicken, green beans. And I'm going to cook them with some smoke, smoked turkey and season them really well and have them cooking all day. It's about one o'clock now. So I got to get started on the green beans here shortly. So we're going to have green beans, fried chicken, uh, candy sweet potatoes or yams, how do you want to say it? Um, we're going to make some of those homemade mac and cheese, cornbread, and, uh, I'm going to make ooey gooey bars for dessert. And also we're going to have, what else did I say? Is that it? Oh, and I might make some potatoes for cash because cash don't eat candy yams. So I'm going to make him some mashed potatoes with these, with the skin on. They only had big packs of potatoes. So I grabbed this, these baby Dutch yellow potatoes. I got some oil to actually fry the chicken. Uh, I needed some vinegar. I need some more butter. We got the bag of sweet potatoes. Also needed some chili powder for the flour mixture for the fried chicken. I needed buttermilk to marinate the chicken in before I fry it. I needed some whole milk for the mac and cheese. I got some plain bagels. That's for Kaya for breakfast next week. We, I needed some eggs, so I grabbed some eggs. I got this bag of jalapenos. Um, I am going to make ooey gooey bars. So I am going to film with you guys. This is just the haul of stuff. I'm going to film making some of this. Probably not a detailed recipe, but just making it. So i am got the classic cake mix for the ooey gooey bars. We got Jiffy Cornbread. We're just going to go easy today with that. The three cheeses, I got mild cheddar, sharp cheddar, and Monterey Jack. Uh, I got a cucumber. I love English cucumbers. I wanted dark brown sugar to make the mixture for the sweet potatoes, but they only had light brown, so I just got that. Also, if you've never had these grapes, definitely go to Aldi. They are literally the best. They're the autumn crisp, and they literally have a crisp, and they're not like tart. That's going off. I got to bake the uh, ooey gooey bars. Can't see it. There it goes. It's on 350. But uh, check these out. They are so good. I got my noodles for the macaroni. That's it from Aldi. I'm gonna make some sweet tea, but I already had this. I think I actually got this from Dollar Tree a while back. Do, I'll probably do three tea bags. I'm gonna start making the greens so they have half the day to cook. So I got this uncured turkey bacon. I'm just gonna uh, saute it first and then we'll throw the green beans. I already got the green beans ready right here. I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna do four cans. I didn't realize I opened all four, but I guess I'm gonna do four cans. That's probably too much. And then I also have some chicken bouillon. This better than bouillon is so good, y'all. It's roasted chicken base. It's really, really good. Put up all the bacon and, and this is turkey bacon. And I'm gonna put it in here. So we're gonna saute that up first so it gets the flavor and then we'll add the green beans. While I'm sauteing the turkey bacon, I am gonna go ahead and season it. Just whatever random seasons that you want to use. I got onion powder, garlic powder, seasonal, black pepper, um, not paprika, uh, the red. I'm going to use, where's that? Oh, I have to find it. Red pepper. Now I'm going to add a little bit of avocado oil. I'm going to add a little bit of ground mustard because ground mustard goes good with greens. And about this much of the better than bouillon. All right, the tea is to a boil, so I'm going to take it off the heat. This is the sugar I use is organic uh, cane sugar. I'm going to do two cups of that for the sweet tea. I let the turkey bacon come to like a good saute with a little crisp on it. And now I'm adding the um, green beans. And we season the bacon so we don't have to season this yet because it's all going to cook together. All right, y'all. So I'm going to marinate the chicken thighs for a little bit for a while. I, I'm going to use buttermilk and some hot sauce and I'll add some other things into it. But I'm going to go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna pour the buttermilk in. Put a good bit in there, y'all. Right now, I'm gonna add the hot sauce. Let's see. So, also in the marinade, I'm gonna add a little bit of this pickle juice and a little bit of that um, jalapeno juice. Just a little bit of the juice. All right, added a little bit of each juice. It's just the flavor, y'all. This is the chicken just gonna marinate for a little while. Just gonna add the chicken in to marinade. I did salt, pepper, 
um, garlic powder. I'm gonna do some chili seasoning. So it's sitting in all the seasoning, all the sauces. Oh, so I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for a while till it's time to fry it. Add in the two cups of sugar and then we're just gonna pour in the tea. Green beans are cooking really nicely. I am boiling the water to cook the mac and cheese noodles, the elbow macaroni. I'm not gonna cook that whole box because this is a two pound box. So um, I'll just do a pound, getting that going. And I'm gonna start making the ooey gooey bars. Um, oven's on 350, just need a yellow cake mix. I'll put the recipe in the description box. One egg. I did it, no shells. Also need to melt one stick of butter. The melted butter into the cake mix. So you just take this mixture, which is the one egg, box of yellow cake mix, and a half a cup of melted butter, and just press it down into this dish. This is almost like a chess cake. Ooey gooey bars are also known like chess, I think it's like chess cake, but it's just like these really good bars. And then we'll make the topping. Just evenly press it down into the pan. Pour the noodles in half the box. Rinse the mixing bowl out. Now we just need to mix up the top part, which is a block of cream cheese, two eggs, and powdered sugar. Eggs and cream cheese. I'm about to put three and a half cups of powdered sugar. That mix in. I like to drizzle a little bit of vanilla. Noodles are done. We're about to drain it. Just pour this mixture on top of this mixture, and then we're going to bake it. This is what it looks like. Now it's going into a 350 degree oven. I have to make cash. I'm gonna make mashed potatoes with the peels on. This is the only kind that Aldi had. Um, it's the yellow Dutch baby potatoes. So I'm going to um, boil these and make him some garlic mashed potatoes with the skin on. I love it like that. Cause he don't like the uh, candied sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna make him some of these. Chopping up some garlic to put in with the potatoes while they boil. All right, added the garlic in there. Now it's gotta come to a boil. This is the same pot I cooked uh, the noodles in, so that's why it looks like that. Added salt and some bouillon to boil the potatoes to give it some flavor. The potatoes boil in here, the green beans in there, the ooey gooey bars in the baking, and the noodles are done for mac and cheese. I'm gonna start shredding the cheese. Have y'all seen the new movie uh, Thanksgiving? It's scary, scary, so if you don't like scary, um, it's like gory, scary, kind of like Final Destination. Um, but this just came out on Netflix. So that's what's playing in here on Sunday. It's beautiful outside. The kitty kitty sleeping. That's Bella over there. About to start on the sauce for the candy sweet potatoes. We need butter, cinnamon, vanilla, a little bit of ground ginger, maple syrup, regular syrup if you want, some honey, brown sugar, and whatever else I just like pull out of my hat. <laughs> I always use like a lot of sauces and spices when I cook. So we're gonna start and then we'll taste it and see where we're at. Of course, start with butter. And yes, my pan looks like that. I know I need some new pans, y'all. Um, but these are my favorite. They cook so well. Uh, so I got the butter melting, a good amount of cinnamon. We're gonna do some of this dark color, robust, 100% pure maple syrup. I got this from Target a while back. I'm gonna let that melt down in there. A little bit of ginger. You could also use a little bit of nutmeg too. Um, oh gosh, I just spilled that everywhere, y'all. Ah! My whisk is messed up, y'all, but I'm gonna add some regular syrup, a bit of honey, vanilla. Just pulled the ooey gooey bars out. Y'all, look how good it looks! I'm so excited, just look at it. So it's got that cake mixture bottom with the gooey cream cheese top. Oh, I haven't had these in so long. I forget about them and they're so good. And you can use any type of cake mix on the bottom. The classic recipe is vanilla, um, yellow at the bottom, but you can use strawberry, you can use anything. I think I've showed this on my channel before a while back, a couple years ago, but these are gonna be so good. They're always a crowd pleaser, always. Literally just took them out the oven. I'm about to take these out. I'm still making the uh, sauce for the candied sweet potatoes and the green beans over here. We're getting things done, y'all. Gotta add some brown sugar. I wish it was dark brown sugar, but all they have was light. Chopping up the sweet potatoes in here. The beautiful sauce, y'all. It's gonna be so good. I'm gonna drizzle this over it, and the sweet potatoes are gonna cook down nicely. Oh, this looks so good, y'all. It's not gonna look like enough, but we're gonna put aluminum foil on, and of course, all of this is gonna cook down. I'm gonna put a aluminum foil over it and stick it in the oven. Now I'm just shredding all the cheeses that I need for the mac and cheese. 
just grating the cheese y'all for the mac and cheese i got one down got several more to go this movie is crazy that's on the tv this thanksgiving scary movie y'all is scary what's like it reminds me of like saw and final destination so if you like those like gory crazy scary movies that's what this is it's on netflix it's it came out on thanksgiving but it didn't hit netflix until i think yesterday today cash and his roommates are supposed to be coming over in a little while for sunday dinner and of course kaya's here I just picked her up from work so i'm finishing up the chicken's been marinating for hours so we're gonna the last thing we're gonna do is fry the chicken and um yeah so just getting everything else ready I haven't done a cook with me in a while Colby Jack the mild cheddar and then the last one I'm about to start the cornbread. I'm just making Jiffy tonight. My kids love some Jiffy, so I'm going to do Jiffy. But instead, it asks for like eggs and just regular milk. I'm going to do this buttermilk because I got this big old thing of buttermilk for marinating the chicken and I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to use it wherever I can. And buttermilk will only make cornbread better, so we're going to use it. I might have to make some buttermilk biscuits here soon. How fluffy that buttermilk made it. I buttered a cake pan or you can use a skillet. I use this thing for everything and it cooks my cornbread really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and cook the cornbread kind of early because it's okay if it gets a little room temp. And give it its first stir. So the sauce thins out as well so it makes it really juicy as these are cooking. We still have a lot of cooking time but um, it definitely looks so good. I'm gonna start making the flour mixture to fry the chicken in. And season the flour really, really good because this is the part you're first gonna taste. So grab you a bunch, everything under the kitchen sink that goes together, paprika. It's more for color. I put a good amount. Chili powder, a good amount. Coarse onion powder and garlic powder. Lots of it. The powder, not the salt. Ground black pepper. A Little bit of ground mustard. This is also gonna be used in the mac and cheese. Parsley flakes. Do a little bit of crushed red pepper, why not? Sea salt, just mix it around. I had some accent, I would, use, I would use accent, but I'm just gonna use this adobo, just a little bit of it, I have a little bit in my hand, because this is salt content. I have everything ready, I got my oil here, it's not heated up yet, I have a pan with a grate, a crate on it for the fried chicken. Flour mixture, this has been marinating in the refrigerator for a long time. About to work on the mac and cheese sauce, I have a half a stick of butter, I'm gonna melt in here. Just pulled the cornbread out of the oven just in time. I smelt the yams and it made me check on the cornbread, so I got it out just in time, y'all. Draw, I smelt the candy yams. Look at all that sauce. Yes, ma'am. I added a couple tablespoons of flour to that to make my roux. Start whisking in milk slowly, whole milk slowly. Thickens up like that, slowly add it in and whisk at the same time. Also add your ground mustard, paprika, salt, and pepper. Season it. At this point, we're starting to make the cheese sauce and then we're gonna add the cheese into it. Add your ground mustard, paprika. <laughs> Gives it the good uh, color, not flavor. It's honestly for color. Salt, pepper. All right, y'all, I'm fixing to start putting this in the flour real quick. I might use a paper bag, but I'm gonna see. These are thigh fillets, so it doesn't have the bone um, so we're going to see, I'm going to see if the oil's ready. Oh, let me use a dry hand. I'll be right back. All right, y'all about to stick this in the fire. I had to check it over here. go for a little bit longer i meant to tell y'all i did add cornstarch into here Fry the first piece of chicken we're just doing one to start with to see how it looks and goes this is what it's looking like just mixed all the mac and cheese with the mac and cheese sauce i had mixed in the cheeses and i'm gonna layer it with cheeses on top Popped it with the cheese and i'm gonna add parsley paprika salt and pepper here we go it's going in the oven start smashing these potatoes with some milk like so 
just pulled the candy sweet potatoes out. Those look so good. Go frying up some chicken. The beans getting going. The potatoes, they just seem a little waxier because it's the golden potatoes and I use it with the skin on. But those are just for cash. If you don't like them, that's okay. We still have the candied yams and the mac and cheese I'm about to pull out. Just pulled the macaroni out. Oh, it's perfect. Sunday dinner is done. Green mm. beans, mashed potatoes, cornbread. So continuous. Mm -hmm. Just frying the last bit. Cash? You can go ahead and start because it's just the last bit. These are already done. Mm. Cash is already making his plate. Which one is it? Whichever one, not the, not the, that one. No, that was for this. I'll have to get another one. Uh-uh. <laughs> Cash is getting some sweet tea. <laughs> what are you doing? Let me see here. Okay. So I forgot to take a picture of the plate last night, but this is Monday morning. Kai's out of school, it's President's Day. So this is my leftovers, y'all. Um, I didn't actually eat yesterday because I was, you know when you cook in the kitchen, you don't really want to eat until like the next day. So this is it. I put hot honey and hot sauce on the chicken, the green beans, the mac and cheese. We have the sweet candy sweet potatoes, cornbread. It came out so good. Look at this boy. Him want some, but he already ate. Him want some, but he already ate. But this is Sunday dinner and the boys thoroughly enjoyed it. Kaya had some. It was so good, y'all. Y'all look how cheesy. Y'all look at this mac and cheese pull. Look how cheesy. And this is next day, y'all. Oh, it's so good. Everything just turned out absolutely amazing. Chicken came out really good. Everything just came out absolutely perfect.